What's up guys, I'm uh, back for another video. Today, I'm probably gonna be doing a video on off-white UNCs. I have to get them from my storage unit, so for now, I just figured I'd start the video, show you guys a few Concords. I think you guys may have seen them in the last video. All these are 10 and a halfs and 11s. I gotta take these to the storage unit because I'm gonna keep buying more and more, stocking up on them, hoping I can clear I don't know, maybe three to like 320, maybe 350 in the future, but I don't know. We'll see where they'll go. Here's uh, some Kyrie's that I threw up in the chat. It was like a $10 steal, but yeah, here's 21 pairs of um, Concords. And yeah, I'm gonna go get the UNC's, off-white UNC's, and I'll make a video on that. I'm gonna talk about how I was holding them, how the market's higher now, and basically like how you can also learn, you know, determine what's a good hold and what's not. What's up guys? So I just picked up the off-white UNCs from storage. Here they are. There is, uh, I think there's 12 pairs. One, two, three, four. But yeah, so there's 12 pairs. I also grabbed these. I'm holding on to these as well. Um, the, the Vapor Maxes. These are size eight. I think I got these for like 550. And then I had like four pairs of these, the Blazers, but I already sold a few. But yeah, these are also going up. I paid 400 for all my pairs. Now they're selling for about, I think they're selling for about like six or seven because I sold my orange pair for like 750. Basically, and I'm gonna talk about like long-term holds because a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people don't do it. Um, and that's something I've been doing for a while. I did it for the white cement fours. I did it for, I did it for a few other pairs. The Royals didn't do so well, but the off-white UNCs have definitely done well. Since I've, I picked these up, I picked up most of my pairs. I had 21 pairs. I sold a few of them, but I picked up most of them for around 600 to 700. All right, yeah, so here's a size nine. I picked this pair up, I think for 800. If I wanted to sell it like right now, I could probably get like 15, but I'm gonna keep holding them. Hopefully they go up to like 2000, I can make a thousand profit. And then the other pairs, I'm probably gonna end up making like maybe like, five, 600, depends how much longer I hold them. Yeah, that's basically like why I've been holding sneakers. I don't know, I just like don't like having capital sitting, rather just invest it and hope the shoes go up and then make some money, but yeah. So I'm gonna bring these downstairs and then we'll go from there. And uh, one more thing, you might be wondering like how long I usually do holds for. The Off-White UNCs, I think I've been holding these for probably like three months not more than that maybe i don't know maybe a little bit more but uh as you can tell like they've they've went up pretty quick and that goes for pretty much every single off-white like these and yeah pretty much like those all right so now i'm gonna talk about like long-term holds this was a good long-term hold that i had like i think it was like 2016 when they released basically about three months after they released, I was on Facebook forums and basically saying that I would cash people out for like 200 to 220, mainly 200 because I wanted to have like a high margin. So what I would do is I would pick these players up. I think I got like 25 or 30. This was back then, two years ago. I didn't have like a bunch of money to buy, I don't know, 100 pairs. So I only got like 30, but I think it was like six months after, maybe less, it was maybe even like three. They started clearing 320 to like 340. And basically I sold them all for that amount. And I think I made 120, maybe a little bit more per pair. So yeah, that was a pretty good investment. And I don't know, I feel like people don't take advantage, like I said, of holding. And you might be wondering, how do you know which shoe to hold? I mean, it's pretty simple. It might take some time to like know which shoe to hold. Pretty much like any off-white, it's gonna go up. I highly doubt they're gonna re-release them. And if you can't get off whites, just go for classic shoes. Uh, another shoe that's coming out, I think like really soon, are the Bread Fours. Those for sure are gonna go up. I mean, if you don't have patience, don't do it. But um, for me, I don't really care. I just uh, stock them up, wait, they go up, I get rid of them. It's a good way for me to bank on, I don't know, shoes, make a lot of money if you can't constantly find like deals in your area. Look for classics, the bread 11s that are coming out, buy them, Concords that are coming out, 
try that are that have already came out by them and then the bread fours if i think of anything on any other shoe that's coming out like soon obviously like i said buy off white um but if i can think of any other shoe i'll let you guys know and then try and buy them as cheap as possible on offer up when people buy them on release day, they realize their GR probably can't resell them. So oftentimes they just sell them for a little bit under retail. So just keep buying them, keep buying them. The money's gonna add up and you'll just end up making a lot of money. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of comments that are gonna say, you didn't sell the white cement fours for 300 for. I'm just gonna show you guys so I don't get those comments. So there you go, uh, size 13. So you can basically see all the prices there. And then I also bought like 20 size um, 18s for 100. Here they are, something like that. I think it was like 15 or 20. Yeah, size 18, 18, um, 18, 18, 18. And I think I made, yeah, I made profit on those. And then here are more. So basically um i sold them when market went up and i made money so yeah you can incorporate that into reselling if you don't have like a ton of capital um i would probably just like resell like quick flips and then so what i do now is i do a lot of quick flips and then i do long-term holds but if you don't have like a ton of capital like at least i don't know like five thousand ten thousand I'd probably just do quick flips and just try and build your money up like that. Be patient, it's gonna take time. And yeah, just keep growing. All right guys, so here are a few of the off-white UNCs laid out. So like I said, I had more, but I kind of like impulse sold a few. I mean, it happens, but I don't know. I kind of thought that like, they might restock. Cause like, if you think about it, I, I thought about the Chicago um, colorway and then the European colorway. And those are way more rare than the off-white UNCs. And there's a big price difference between them. So I kind of thought that these would probably restock, go down in price again. And I didn't want to wait that long to um, make money. But so basically, I sold some big sizes, which was a mistake. Those are worth more than the small sizes that I'm holding. I think I'm just gonna hold these for now then. And this is what I'm talking about, like size five, size four, five and a half. I have like nine, 10 and a half, 12, 11. Overall, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's a pretty cool shoe. Probably not, I don't think it'd be something I would wear. I don't know, a lot of people like it. So, looks like these are probably gonna be going up even more. So yeah, if I were you, if you have the capital, buy these and try and hold on to them. I also bought a used pair for myself, but uh, I think I like wore it once and then never wore it again. I don't know, something about like high tops, like having to like fully unlace them lace them back up it's not really my thing i kind of just like to be like quick out of the house take them off quickly when i get back in i'm probably i don't know i might hold these sell them as used when they go up even more or i might sell them but yeah that i don't know also let me know what you guys think about these below i kind of want to know like what you guys think about these in the long term like if you have a reason why they won't go up let me know because I'm not always right and I don't want to make it seem like everything I'm saying is 100% true. Let me know because I'm open to, you know, listening to what you have to say and if you have a reason why they might not go up, I'll take that into uh, consideration. I recently just got a pair, um, personal pair. Not sure if I'm going to keep it yet. I don't know. I saw a sneaker shopping video. One pair of shoes that you rap about specifically, Fear God Vans. Drew. And someone was wearing these and I don't know, on camera, they don't look like they do in person. They look super dope. And so I bought a used pair so I don't have to spend a bunch on a new pair and then undies it because I probably won't undies it because it just drops in value by, by a bunch. I bought these. I might wear them if I can find like a good outfit. Probably not since this is pretty much what I wear all day. I don't know, we'll see. I might wear them. If I don't wear them, I'll probably just like sell them. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Um, like always, let me know what you think below. Tell me what other videos you want me to film. I think I'm gonna do the Concord 11 video for the human races. I'm gonna talk about how I didn't make any money. I pretty much took an L. If you like this video, of course, like it, subscribe, and comment. Also, I still gotta ship all of these out, so wish me luck. What's up? Sly, hello? Rich. <laughs> but Rick Ross! Rich! But Rick Ross!